Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and we're back doing another video about Clan Wars before it's released, which should actually be pretty soon. So you guys, in this video, I want to just go ahead and talk about a few things that may be possible to happen with Clan Wars now that we've tested it out, we played it a little bit. And also, I'm going to be talking about some of the other changes to the game that we should be receiving in this new update for Clan Wars. Now I apologize if I haven't done a Q&A. A lot of the questions were already stuff that Supercell had answered on the forums. So you guys, I'm going to post all of the questions and answers uh, just in the description if you look down there. So you guys could reference that if you have any other questions, they should be addressed in the description down there of what Supercell posted already. But a very good question someone asked me was, what exactly are we getting with this update besides Clan Wars? Well actually, we're not just getting Clan Wars. Uh, we're getting clan wars, you know, it, this is something that Supercell has been working on for months and months. I think they said they started back in November and it's taken them a long time to actually create this thing. But this is also something that was created for the community. You know, I don't know too many game developers that will do something for their fans, you know, because of fan requests. So this is something that was made for us, for the community, and they followed through and they made it something really uh, fun to play. But aside from Clan Wars, we should also be seeing a few changes to the game. I believe some of them are graphic effects. Uh, hero scaling was not reset. That means uh, when the king died and uh, after rage spell, he wouldn't shrink back to normal size. So they fixed that. Uh, and also in stealth effect was not reset properly. I think you guys have seen that in my fail Taj where the queen would still be in stealth mode after the, the amount of time has been gone for her to be in stealth mode. So they fixed that. Also, they've um, the attack and defense stats in player profile screen are hidden if the player is not in a league. Just a lot of changes uh, that they've fixed with this update. I have it on screen for you to check out. And they've also increased the laboratory level 8 hit points. So it's stronger now when uh, the enemy is attacking it. And lastly, we should be getting the gem box. Uh, this is something that was supposed to be in the last update, but they've fixed it, so now it should be in this update. And you should be able to get 25 gems from that uh, when you have your builders take it down. So be sure to take it as soon as it appears, because if you don't, then you might miss the next one. So make sure you get those right away. And lastly, they fixed a bug where Friend League's icon would not show up. So those should be the major changes we get with this update uh, that you guys can expect. Now, also, I was given the okay to talk about maybe some future things that we can add to Clown Wars now that it's about to be released. But take into consideration, this is just brainstorming and not really anything set in stone. So a lot of people have been asking about the edit mode, how they can create their base, their village when they edit it. And a big request was that we have an option to save our base. Like so you can save a farming base and a trophy base and just switch between both bases when you're going into a clan war. So it makes it a lot easier if you want to switch back to farming. And you know, I believe Supercell may be working on this in a future update because this is definitely something needed in the game. Also, you guys, uh, my issue right now is that the offense is a little stronger than the defense, especially with the new hero abilities. Uh, so one of my friends actually mentioned that what we should do is have maybe the hero initiate his rage, his iron fist on defense so that it kind of like gives the defense a little bit of an advantage as well. And also, um, I believe we were talking about things like uh, most people, when they attack your village, they pull your troops they pull your clan castle and your heroes so they may change that to so that your troops don't actually leave the base or they make it so that the radius of the alert is smaller so that they can't be pulled some other things we could definitely fix that also would be nice is the clan emblems and the way you are partnered with other clans uh, i think right now the emblems are really kind of basic they're really plain so having more customization for your clan symbols your emblems would be nice and also if you uh, have a alliance or a partner clan a sister clan or something you could have more of a way of associating yourself with that clan maybe badges or something so that you know if people look online and try and search for your clan they can find it right away 
and also have maybe a trophy or award system that we get for winning against another clan uh, because right now it's just clan versus clan and the reward is loot which is great but however for most of the top players up there if they've already maxed out or they can't use you know uh, dark elixir anymore because their troops are maxed out uh, they'd have more of a system where you would get more recognition for winning against a clan instead of just loot so you guys those are some of the changes that would be awesome in a future update possibly uh even you know resetting the trophies would be cool and definitely giving us some better walls that match the town hall 10 but anyway you guys this is godson be sure to put your feedback down there so supercell can look at it and evaluate what we should do in future updates thank you for watching this is godson see you next time godson out